Hello, and welcome to another episode of Alkira's Design Zone video series. Today, we are going to talk about Aruba's SD-WAN integration, which is formerly known as Silver Peak with Alkira's Network Cloud. My name is Ms. Rahman, and I'm a Senior Technical Marketing Engineer at Alkira. To help out with the video today, I, I have with me Pasquale, who is a solution architect at Alkira and have worked with numerous customers helping them integrate Alkira and uh, Aruba Edge Connect, Aruba SD-WAN solution to help out with their cloud migration. Pasquale, why don't you take a moment and introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. My name is Pasquale Miacho. I am a solutions engineer here at uh, Alkira. Uh, in my previous tenure, I was a senior um, systems engineer over at uh, HPE Aruba uh, with the Silver Peak Edge Connect product. Cool. Uh, probably the best person who understands both sides of the world. <laughs> so uh, now from an integration benefits perspective, um, this solution seems a win-win solution for our joint customers because it allows one of the leading SD-WAN solutions out there to integrate one of the leading cloud networking solution to enable our joint customers to have a frictionless and a seamless migration into any of the cloud service providers. Secondly, from a security perspective, it provides standardization for our joint customers when they move from on-prem inside the cloud. Uh, Alkira's Network Cloud offers a marketplace where you could have different vendors listed out, where enterprise can uh, pick a vendor of their choice for cloud firewall security and have the same security posture as they extend from on-prem inside the cloud. Thirdly, uh, segmentation is something which is not natively supported inside the cloud. However, when you look at the on-prem network, segmentation is a building block of any security architecture. Our on-prem networks are designed in a way where different types of network are isolated, leveraging uh, segmentation. With Alkira Network Cloud, customers can now easily map their on-prem segments that are deployed inside the SD-WAN or their WAN infrastructure and can have a seamless mapping of those segments as they move their workloads inside the cloud. Thus again, maintaining the same standardization from a segmentation perspective. Lastly, it provides our enterprise customer to have regionalized SD-WAN fabrics where they can connect to the closest Alkira exchange point and leverage Alkira's high bandwidth, low latency backbone in order to connect different regions uh, through regional SD-WAN meshes. This allows the different regions to connect over a dependable, predictable backbone network instead of going through an internet, which may not be uh, as dependable as the Alkira's backbone. From a joint integration topology perspective, uh, the main thought process behind this integration uh, was to make sure that customers get to have the control of their WAN infrastructure as they move into the cloud. With that, what I mean is these SD-WAN solutions are built for an enterprise use case from a WAN perspective. And as they extend their uh, nodes inside the cloud, they need to be managed through the same uh, uh, management plane or the orchestrator, like all the policies, all the configuration needs to be managed through there because these are built, purpose built for the WAN infrastructure. However, when these WAN appliances, uh, the SD-WAN appliances are deployed inside the cloud, we have a challenge of dealing with the complexity of cloud networking, which needs to be resolved. And that is what exactly what we are resolving here. We spin up these SD-WAN appliances, these edge connect appliances inside the cloud. We provide simplicity and connectivity inside the cloud through a, a simple um, a, a point and click interface. However, at the same time, these appliances go and register to the same SD-WAN overlay network that the customers have deployed. As a result, they can be managed and uh, from a policy perspective, controlled through the same uh, SD-WAN orchestrator that the customers are using it for their WAN infrastructure. Thus allowing our customers to basically have the same control over their WAN infrastructure, at the same time, have the simplicity and ease of use when they extend their uh, uh, WAN connectivity inside the cloud. With that, uh, I think I would like Pascal to actually walk us through an actual customer deployment and how this joint integration have helped that customer 
uh, to extend their uh, connectivity from WAN to the cloud in a timely fashion. Pascal. Thanks, Ms. Ball. So in front of us today, we have a two region Aruba SD-WAN deployment going, uh, connecting back to a, a two region Alkira deployment with a multi-cloud uh, infrastructure uh, connectivity on the right. So if you look here, we have PCI segments and corporate segments that are de currently deployed in the Aruba SD-WAN network. And what we, we can actually do is extend those segments or VRFs into the Akira infrastructure and connect those back to a multi-cloud environment. As you can see, this customer is more heavy in the AWS environment, but has backup connectivity in Google as well as Azure. From the, from the connectivity perspective on the SD-WAN side, uh, we, can, we can actually interconnect using a multitude of ways. Aruba provides uh, the uh, ability to do regional, regional overlays with regional, uh, regional routing. Um, and we, even if the customer doesn't have regional routing or regional overlays deployed, we have found uh, that there is enough features and knobs here that we can actually uh, make this work in the appropriate fashion. So your full mesh customers can still connect back in a regional fashion to the Akira infrastructure. In addition, we're providing the, the ability to spin up firewalls within the Akira uh, uh, CXPs um, so that the customers can get that next gen firewall if they need to within the regional cloud infrastructure. What redundancy basketball, uh, do we allow the option of spinning up multiple uh, edge connects per region for redundancy sake? Yes, and that's highly recommended to spin up multiple edge connects per region. The added benefit here is that we don't have to do that per region per cloud. So instead of spinning up two edge connects within the uh, AWS East, as well as Azure East, as well as Google, um, we just need two for the East region and two for the West region. This reduces cost and complexity on the customer side. We don't have to deploy six or eight edge connects throughout the globe and um, worry about how all that routing is going to interconnect. Um, so this reduces the complexity. Alkira does a great job at not only extending those segments into the network, but providing that central security that the customers desperately need today in the cloud, central policy management as well for which VPCs can talk to which, which other VP, VPCs uh, or uh, other VNets or anything like that. So the synergy here, having you know, worked in extensively in both these environments um, is quite good. That's awesome. Uh, since you talked about uh, simplicity, um, why don't we uh, walk our customers through the GUI and see how simple it is to configure an Edge Connect uh, appliance inside uh, the Alkira portal? So Pasco, here's the GUI. Uh, why don't you walk us through and what all these attributes means to our customers? Sure. So I'd like to point out if you've ever deployed um, an Edge Connect in the cloud, it is a, it is a process that, that you need to go through um, in order to make all the connectivity uh, work well. And what we have done here at Alkira is make it really, really simple for the customer to just put in a couple attributes here. And Alkira does all the magic in the background, spinning up the instances, sizing the instance appropriately. So let's go top to bottom and look at what we have here. So at the top, we're just giving the connector a name, right? Uh, so that's just what we're using to call the connectivity between Alkira and the Aruba Edge Connect. Next, we have the software version down below. You'll see that it's 8308. This is the version that's available in the cloud today. And the customers will, will upgrade this to 9.0 code for VRF once it shows up in their orchestrator. On the right, you see a boost mode, yes or no. This is mapped to the connector size that we select uh, down below uh, during the configuration phase. And Alkira will automatically size this instance appropriately based on that, those two attributes. 
Below here, we're just giving the device a host name, its account key and name, which comes from the orchestrator or the customer may have this stored, giving it a site tag, site tag and optionally a template group. If we're gonna do HA like we spoke about before, uh, we would just add a plus sign for the additional Edge Connect and Alkira would, in the background, automatically provide redundancy between two different availability zones within the cloud automatically for, um, so we don't have to worry about the redundancy part of having two. So we, all, we uh, further down below, we're talking about connector size here. Again, this is mapped to the boost mode so that we can size the, the VM appropriately in the cloud. Next, we will map the target segments uh, between the Aruba Edge Connect and the targeted segment within Alkira, thereby creating that symmetrical, that, that uh, segment to segment routing. On the right, you'll see that there's a BGP attribute. We can do dynamic routing between Alkira and the Aruba Edge Connects. And we will provide the configuration for this uh, at the end. Bottom optionally, there's a target group and billing tags. And once this is saved and deployed, Akira provides a configuration file that you can go in and provision all the interfaces. The Aruba Edge Connects will uh, then appear within the customer's um, orchestrator to approve and deploy. And you'll have all the attributes that you need for interfaces, BGP, and, and anything else in order to get this up and running without hassle. So as I understand, so basically customers will only have to download the config from the Alkira portal. The devices will automatically show up in the orchestrator and they just follow those uh, configuration and configure those appliance and everything will be up and running towards the uh, Alkira CXP and then the Edge Connects talking to the SD-WAN network. That's all the customer needs to do, right? That's correct. And it's a quite a fast process. Once you have the Aruba Edge Connect uh, come up in, in the orchestrator, um, you know, having done this a couple of times myself, it really only takes a couple of minutes to provision each one of them and to have everything up and running with fabric, uh, uh, fabric extended and built and all that. Oh, that's awesome. So uh, this is all we got uh, uh, from Alkira's integration with uh, Aruba Edge Connect. And thanks for watching our video. Uh, if you guys would like to schedule a demo uh, and want to look at the solution live, please visit us at www.alkira.com and uh, you would be able to schedule a demo with one of the solution architects. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.